What's up everybody, it's Nico Moreno here. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to create the perfect ManyChat ad. So stick around. If you want to see how to use ManyChat to use paid ads, so these are technically Facebook ads, however, I'm gonna show you how to create a stunning ManyChat ad, perfect for your business, all inside of the ManyChat platform. Cool? So these ads are going to send straight to your ManyChat chatbot so you can have automated and personalized conversations to get more leads, get more sales, and grow your business. All right, let's hop over into the training. Also, in this video, I use a YouTube ads course, a free YouTube ads mini course, as an example for the ad that I'm running. That is actually a real thing. So if you do want my free YouTube ads mini course, comment down below, I want it, and I will get that sent to you. It's completely free, okay? So if you wanna learn YouTube ads, you wanna scale your business with paid traffic on YouTube, then Say, I want it now, and I'll send you the link. All right, let's hop into the training. What we are going to do is, again, from my ManyChat dashboard, this is where we're gonna be creating our ManyChat ad, all right? Now, a lot of you guys know, and some of you might not know this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly talk through it, but you can actually create a ManyChat ad, or you can create an ad that goes into your ManyChat bot through the Facebook Ad Manager. So you can do that, if you want to. And the way that you do that is just use a ref URL as your destination link in your Facebook ad. So you can do that. However, you can also create an ad through ManyChat if you already know that you're going to be using a ManyChat ad, <laughs> right? So a lot of people have never done this or just don't really um, don't know how to set this up. So I wanted to walk you guys through the setup process right here in ManyChat today. So let's go in and you actually, I created a new one yesterday. So let's go, actually, you know what? Let's just create a brand new ad, okay? So what first thing that you wanna do is you want to click up here, create new ad, all right? So what we're gonna do is you first need to make sure that your ManyChat account is hooked up to your business page. So the one that you would actually run paid ads with, okay? So that's extremely important. If that's not the case, then it's not gonna, it's not gonna work out well for you. <laughs> okay, so make sure that you have your business page that you would run paid traffic with hooked up to your ManyChat account. And it should automatically do that for you. But if for whatever reason that doesn't happen, make sure that that is set up. Cool, so I'm gonna pick Nico Moreno. Now what we're gonna do is you actually have the ability to select an existing campaign, but let's walk through it. We're gonna create a new campaign from scratch, okay? So let's click that. And what we're gonna do is, so there's two campaign types that we can build directly inside of our ManyChat. So the first type is messages. The second type is traffic. And this one, it says it's recommended, I would agree, like, let's just go with this, right? Because the point of a ManyChat ad is to get people to interact with our messenger bot, right? So we want to be able to send them a message in their inbox. And that's how we get sort of, that's how we deliver whatever we're promising on in the ad, right? So we do that by sending a message instead of sending them to some external landing page or funnel or anything like that, right? So we're going to leave it as messages, okay? So let's go ahead and give this campaign a name. So again, this is the campaign name. So you want it to be something descriptive that you know what it is, right? So I'm gonna say YouTube ads free course. Cool, and you can set a campaign spend limit if you want to, if you wanna do like a, a limit for the entire campaign, or you can set a daily budget, which is what I recommend doing instead. So I'll show you how to set that up later. So let's just leave that off. Cool, then let's click continue. And we're gonna create a new ad set. Again, if you were using existing campaigns that had ad sets in them, then you would be able to go ahead and like utilize those. But since we're doing a brand new campaign, brand new ad sets, let's just do create new ad set. Okay, so here's the thing with messenger ads, with many chat ads, there's two different options for destination. So this is sort of a new thing that, you know, if you've never utilized a messenger ads, 
this can sort of be a whole brand new topic or a whole brand new idea. So what this is, is click to messenger is sort of, this is what we're going to be creating today. And if you saw the post yesterday in the group, uh, that's what it looks like. It looks like a regular Facebook ad. However, when they click the button, they get, they get sent to messenger. Okay. So that's what the destination is. It's essentially click to messenger. It looks exactly like a normal Facebook ad that you see in your newsfeed, but it just gets them sent to messenger instead. So a sponsored message, this is something completely different. So well, click to messenger is actually something that shows up in the news feed, right? Like, so you're marketing to people who it may be cold, right? You're marketing to people who are not any on any of your lists or anything like that. A sponsored message on the other hand, actually sends to your many chat list. Okay. So this will send to your many chat list. Uh, it's, it's essentially a paid broadcast. Now there is a weird thing about this and I, I really truly do not understand why this happens. Like it is just so weird to me. And it even says right here, it literally, it says, please be aware. This is right here by default. Facebook will also target people who unsubscribed from your ManyChat bot. So if you send a sponsored message, people who were on your bot at some point and then like unsubscribed, they will still get your sponsored message. Again, it is so, so weird. I do not understand why they like, I mean, they they created the software in the way that they did so they can make that not happen, presumably, but for whatever reason, like that, that happens. Okay, so you the way that you need to solve it again, I would just go back if you're actually going to do this type of ad, go back and read this, um, the little question mark, it tells you how to do it. It's actually it's very painstaking. I do have a video walking through it that I give to clients and customers, uh, but that's inside my paid programs. So it, it is uh, unfortunately very painstaking to set this up properly. Uh, I do not know again why ManyChat like does that. It's so so weird. But uh, we're gonna we're not really doing sponsored messages today. We're doing a standard click to messenger ad. Cool. So let's go ahead and we're just gonna name this ad set. So I'm gonna do T mini course. Um, oh wait. Oh yeah. So I'm just doing, yeah, I'm naming my audience. Okay, cool. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to say Russell Brunson targeting. Okay. So include, if you have like customer look like or look like audiences too from your Facebook account, those will show up right here. So uh, I'm not going to do that right now. So I'm just going to set up again. So all the age, everything like that is similar. If you've run Facebook ads before, all of this information overall is very much the same, right? So we can do all gender ages. We can do people who live in this location. So United States, UK. Oh. Okay, so again, there's nothing super shocking here. We're just setting up the age, targeting, gender, location, and language. Okay, so if you want to experiment with others, that is totally cool. These are the ones that I usually target for English speaking ads, English speaking offers. And then I am going to do interest based. I would probably put a little bit more thought into this if I were actually going to set this live, but for right now, we're going to do Russell. Brunson, right? Because I'm doing a YouTube mini course. And I know that people who are interested in marketing, online marketing, like Russell Brunson. Cool. So next part is placements. So it says automatic placements recommended, we are going to instead do edit placements. Okay. So we are the reason for that is you're going to see it. Facebook will automatically put your ads in just really weird places that you don't necessarily want. So marketplace, 
Uh, we just turn that off. I don't even know what that is, but like we don't want our ads there. <laughs> Messenger inbox, uh, that's a whole different beast. So we're not going to do that. Instagram, if you would like to run on Instagram as well, I mean, you can do that. I just, I just turn that off, right? Because right now we're, it behaves differently as a platform, especially with a many chat, like click to messenger ad. We're just going to be running Facebook feed only. Okay. And then budget and schedule. So whatever, whatever is in your budget, if you're starting a brand new ad, you know, with brand new copy and brand new creatives, everything like that, like, you know, you can start off slow, 10 or $20 a day, $50 a day, whatever. And yeah, so let's start there, run my ad set continuously starting today. And now what we're gonna do is so there's two parts to actually creating your ad. Okay, so we need to A, design the advert, the advert advertisement, and then B, we're gonna create the actual message that the bot says, okay? So let's just walk through that really quickly here. And it's not super, you're gonna see it's actually very intuitive as we go from step one to step two. Cool, so let's drop an image here. Uh, darn, I think I deleted. Uh, yeah, I think I deleted the image that I was gonna use, which is a huge bummer. Let me see if I can find it. Um, okay, here it is. Cool, so text, and we're gonna see a preview over here too. So text, oh, it's cut off. I want to get By the way, this is like an actually, this is like an actual free course that I am actually creating and giving out for free. So if you want the this YouTube ads free course, comment I want it down below this video and we will send it to you. It's for free, okay? So if you wanna learn how to use YouTube ads to get unlimited leads and sales, then comment below the video. So this is kind of, again, the text is just like the ad copy. So this is not a, a copywriting training, so we're not gonna get like super into it, but you know, you wanna write something enticing, wanna get unlimited leads and sales for your business with YouTube ads, uh, grab our free four day video course showing you how. And then the way that I recommend that you end these ads off is say tap send message below to get this free course sent to your inbox. Okay, so the reason for that is you want people to like expect that they're gonna get it, that they're gonna get the message in their inbox, right? You don't want there to be anything confusing. So just tell people very clearly what's gonna happen, right? So tap send message. You see, we see the send message button here instead to get this free course sent to your inbox, right? That way people are looking out they're watching their inbox like right away after they click it. And then they're like, oh, okay, cool. It came to my message, it came to my messages, right? So just very clearly spell out exactly what's gonna happen when they click. So headline, you're gonna see it's gonna show up down here. We can make this a little bit, a little bit different from the text, but it's still, it's still you know, the same thing. There we go. I like that because you can see the whole piece of text. And then description, uh, we'll just say like, cool, grab it for a free day video course. See, so it's pretty easy. It's pretty quick. That's all you really need to do. The only, the next step is we're gonna actually create the message that is going to send when people click send message right here. Okay, so right here, what we're gonna do is we'll just say, hey there, thanks for requesting your free YouTube ads and course 
to get unlimited leads and sales YouTube ads. Click below to grab it now. And then you see the one thing though that you need to, oh, so, you, so I already hit the limit. Um, the one kind of weird thing is the amount of text that you have in this first message, like the, if it's an ad, is very limited. So that's about all you can say. You, you don't have too much room to be creative. And then we're going to say like, get course. So there's actually two cool options that you can do. One, you can send them to a website. Or two, when they click the button, you can also go to a different flow. So if you're going to use this option and you know you're going to use this option, I recommend building on that flow first. Okay, so build it out before you start your ad. If you're going to do a longer conversation flow. And then from there, you'll be able to click on this when you're creating your ad, click on go to flow. And then it'll pop up and you'll be able to select that flow. And then when people tap this after the ad, then they will continue down that flow. Cool. So... YT1, I think is the URL. Cool. And you can add like images and text and stuff if you want to, which that'll certainly make it more engaging. So if I had a video of me saying, you know, talking about this, then I would like upload that here. I don't have one though, but that's all you really need to do. And then you just, you can either preview it or send it to Facebook. Send to Facebook is going to be um, like the next steps in actually getting your ad running at the budget that you set earlier on. Cool. And you can also preview right here, uh, like mobile. And if you're running a messenger ad, see, so like, it'll show you what it looks like. If you're running an inbox ad, which I think looks just terrible. So I would not do that. <laughs> um, if you're running like mobile newsfeed or desktop newsfeed, this is what it looks like. Cool. So yeah, guys, let me know. Hopefully this made sense for you, right? It's really not that hard. It's just a different layout and it, it looks very different from Facebook ads. But I think this is actually quite a bit simpler, less overwhelming. There's less stuff going on. And yeah, all you do is step one is design your advertisement with some great copy. And then two, you just create the message that people are going to get sent. And of course, you know, you have the proper targeting and things like that. Okay. So again, this is like actually a real free course. So if you do want the YouTube ad course, which is a brand new thing, haven't really posted too much about it, but if you want this comment, I want it down below and we will get that sent over to you. Cool. All right, guys. So this has been our incredible mini chat ad training. All right. So I'm going to hop over back to YouTube to see if there's any questions. If you have any questions on this, or if you have any, um, yeah, so I don't know why the comments have not been showing up. So anyways, Facebook Live Studio has been a little bit funky lately with not showing any comments. So I'm just going to imagine that everybody is saying hashtag live, hashtag replay. Thank you so much for all, all for being here. And yeah. If there's any questions, then I'll, we'll just respond in the comments later on. Okay. So thank you so much, everybody, for being here. This has been Nico Moreno, and I'm thrilled to have you as a member of this community. Let us know if you've got any other questions, and I will see everybody next time.